in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add a add an attachment to some com code but have it actually uh, work as an inline link. Usually in Composer when you add an attachment it will display in some kind of box uh, depending on the exact file type that you use but we have quite a few options so you can actually pretty much exactly control how the attachment will display. In this particular example we're going to use a PDF file. So I'm going to do this on my test site which is um, running with the simplified attachment UI option turned off. By default it's on in Composer. Um, if it's off then we add an attachment through attachments underneath the posting area. If, if it's on then we have to use the image button. Okay, and we're going to do this um, under a news article, so I'm going to add the attachment under a news article. So because it's a news article, we just have to put in a title. Anything will do for the example. And we're going to add our attachment. Just a sample file that I have. Okay, and for PDF files, we automatically put the attachment options box up because we want you to be able to choose how they display. For images, by default, we don't pop up this box because almost everyone just wants an image to display in a standardized way without bothering you with the options. Okay, so we don't want it to be framed because it's going to be in line. And we want to allow free editing. If you don't allow free editing, it will come into the content as, um, a, as, as a com code attachment tag and it will display in the editor as a button, which we can't really get into. Um, we need it to be pure HTML edited within the WYSIWYG, so we need free editing to be on. And under advanced, we need to change the rendering type. Um, by default, it's choose automatically, which makes a choice based on what the file type is, essentially, um, and what Composer thinks are the best default options. And for a PDF, that would be PDF by default. That's what it would detect. But what we actually want is display as a web page link slash download. Okay, now we can add it. And we can see right away it's it's already in line, um, but we want to add some text around this. So um, this is a link that you can get to. Okay, now the way the WYSIWYG editor works is any text around the link won't be part of the link. So to actually edit the text of the link, we need to actually type it inside the link, then delete any excess text, which may seem a bit weird, but it's better than having it so that text becomes part of the link. Um, so there we go. Um, and if we click preview, it does what we expect. Okay, that's all.